All right, so it is the next day, and I'm over here today. What we're going to be doing is focusing on obviously these two carts, and what we're going to be doing is focusing on the seat, where exactly I'm going to put the seat, and uh, possibly the steering wheel, where I'm going to put that, um, opposed to where the pedals are going to be. So let's look at that real quick. So I know most of you may not, you know, agree. But what I'm actually planning on doing with the seat is I'm probably just going to weld it on there, honestly. This whole piece is detachable. But I'm thinking about welding it on there because I don't ever see a reason to take it off. I'm going to be putting a seat on top of this one, which will be removable. And um, this seat here will pretty much just be a part of the cart's frame altogether. I'm going to try and get it as far back as possible without affecting where the motor is going not exactly sure where the motor is going yet obviously they have this motor mount here that's an option but uh, I'm, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna be doing back here yet I haven't really thought about it yet I may be doing a whole entire new rear axle uh, given the fact that the keyway on the other one was destroyed and since they're yin yang they gotta match they gotta look exactly the same so whoever had this before Supposedly he thought that they knew how to weld, which is this is this is terrible work I'm gonna go ahead and start filing this down with a uh, grinder And then I want to go ahead and tack it on there after I I mean that's just terrible. Look at that bulge That's just that's really terrible So let's get started on that I mean that just looks a lot cleaner, it's a lot smoother, not done with it yet but you know it's just way way nicer as opposed to this side and I mean that just looks terrible. Okay so I just got done grinding off obviously you know, on here and on here which looked terrible and I just got done grinding off the inside of there see where it's a little bit shiny towards the top. I was just trying to get some of the paint off so when I put the weld on the weld sticks. So when I come back, I'm going to figure out where the steering wheel is going to be and exactly how I want to shape it on there somehow. Um, like I said, I definitely need them both to match the steering wheel assemblies and they are going to match. It's just opposed to how I plan on doing that. Hello! Alright, so welcome back to day three, still part two, because the other day when I was here I didn't get as much done as I wanted to, but today I plan on getting done a lot of stuff. So, um... Yeah, so one thing I definitely need to do right now is figure out exactly what I'm going to do with the steering assembly. I'm thinking about having two separate forks here and here coming up and meeting somewhere up in this area and coming straight down obviously to here. What I'm thinking about using for that rod that's coming up to where the steering wheel is going to be is going to be these guys. These are the old uh, rear axles that were on the cart before and there's two of them so why not use them so I need to take a few minutes and figure out what kind of design I plan on doing but it's similar to this you know what I mean for my rod and the old roll cage tubing which is this here which is also that out there is plenty of it um, it actually fits inside so that's what I plan on doing. Give me a few minutes to figure out exactly what I'm going to do with it and we will get started.
Okay, so I have an idea. It should work. I don't see why not. So basically, we have this little A-frame piece here, right? This is going to sit in the center for the um, the old rear axle to go through. Steering wheel is going to be right on the top, and the other end of the axle is going to go all the way down, right to here, where my peg's going to be to uh, work the tire rods. So let's tack that together. Hopefully it works. I don't see why not. Alright, so we just cut it, obviously. Weld it. I'm gonna clean that up a little bit, but it's a pretty decent weld. I just sanded off these two sides so it can sit like like this. I gotta I'm gonna have to hit it on the wheel to smoothen out the end so it can actually sit on there because it's rounded out. So I'll have to round out the ends of the pipe so it can sit on there a little bit smoother and then I gotta center it. But that's pretty decent. Yeah, we'll go with that. Okay, so I just got that on there. It honestly looks really nice. I gotta smooth in the top down a little bit. Odds are, you know, it's not going to happen, but if you were to crash and hit that, you know, it would hurt a lot. So I got to smoothen that down. I mean, I doubt that's going to happen because you're going to have a big steering wheel right here, you know? But just to be on the safe side. Um, like I said, I got to get a piece of the frame up in here and down here. And then we're going to run that rod all the way through. Here's the rod here. Okay, we got to cut it up to size, run it all the way down through, and we'll see how she looks. All right, looks good. So at this point, we have to cut down this old rear axle. We have to cut it. I'm gonna probably cut it right around here where the uh, keyway starts, and uh, weld on the um, the flat plate for the uh, steering wheel, what the steering wheel is gonna screw into. So let's do that. So I was able to get these discs 
uh, out of an old torque converter that I had sitting around. It was actually the assembly for this guy. Um, this is why you save your, your steel, because now I can use this. This is going to be the piece that's going to go for the steering wheel, which is going to sit on the end of that, that rod that bolts, not bolts, but that rides through here. <laughs> I got you. Alright, so we got it on now. Looks pretty good. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little tack. A little tack like right in. Ooh, that's, ah! that's hot! Woo! A little tack right up in here somewhere to keep it from sliding too far forward. Okay, so that tack's on there. You know, nice, whatever. So. They're both done in that sense. The amount that I wanted to get done today is, is done. There's this one and there's that one. I'm gonna go around with the grinder and clean these up a little bit. And, you know, wherever I welded, if it came out a little bit bubbly, I'm gonna go around and uh, smoothen that down, grind that down. But that's pretty much gonna do it for the day. So let me do that real quick and then I'll be right back. Okay, that is gonna wrap it up for today. Um, I didn't get as much done as I wanted to. I wanted to try and get done the steering today too, but I didn't get to. Uh, today I just got done the uh, steering wheel and the steering wheel, you know, assembly. So here they are, both of them. You know, if you ask me, I'd say that's practically identical. Obviously, it's not 100% perfect, but I mean, you can barely tell. They, they look pretty spot on to me. I measured them both from the tips all the way down to the frame down here, and it's 22 and three quarters. I did that on both of them to make them as identical as I possibly could. So, that's going to wrap it up for today. Tomorrow, I'm going to try and get done the steering. Um, I don't have the tires for it, but I have the old tires that I can use as a template to set myself up for when I get the real tires. So, with that being said, the shop is a little messy now, obviously. Um, that's going to be that. So, here's where we are now. Tomorrow, I will finish the steering everything up front and then after that it should be ready to get the seat and then after that the rear axle and she'll be ready to ride it sounds a lot sooner than it is but it's coming thanks guys for watching please like please subscribe i really appreciate the support i really need it right now since you know i'm just starting out uh and that's that all right you guys have a good night see ya